All right, let's play the game. Okay, uh... Uh... The hardest... Oh, wait, hold on. Lowercase. I can understand that confusion there, because... I don't know what I was doing doing the capital. Uh, boom. Right, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Uh, this is a work of fic uh, fiction. There are I tales okay. Of a box that brings death upon any who dare open it. Tell me, do you think those rumors could be true? There it is! It's uh, like 100 degrees in California right now, so it's it's awful. Oh, that's Home Chick Slice! I don't... Maybe, maybe I should have watched, like, the very ending of Curious Village to remember everything that was going on. But... I guess they're taking her with them? Maybe? Missed opportunity on my now, part. This is what I call deluxe. Just look at this room. Yes, I can certainly see why some call the Molin Teddy Express a cruise ship on rails. <laughs> this sofa's great. <laughs> now, don't forget, Luke. A gentleman pays attention to his manners in every setting. He was, in fact. Oh, wait. Uh, you basically adopted her as per the will of her father. She was, in fact, the treasure that you were hunting. Got it. It's all coming back now. I'm gonna... Go back. So what's the actual story behind the Elysian box anyway? All who open it die, huh? Hmm, sounds awfully fishy to me. Perhaps so, but we've seen it happen with our very own eyes. The answer is out there, Luke, but I just need to find it. We will. I know it. The Elysian box. My dear friend Axelrod. There was a box that was rumored to kill anyone who opened it. At first, neither the professor nor I believed it. But all that changed with the arrival of a single letter. All that changed when the Fire Nation attacked. A few days earlier. Look, have a look here. Oh, what's that, professor? It's a letter from my dear friend and mentor, Dr. Andrew Schrader. Is everything all right? My dear Herschel, knowing you, I imagine you've already heard of the relic known as the Elysian Box. This strange antique is infamous for killing anyone who opens it. Truth be told, I'm a bit dubious of the box's murderous reputation. But you know how I am. What are you talking about? I had my voice, Seals. My voice. The perfect voice. Once something piques my interest, I simply must get to the bottom of it. That's why I'm pleased as punch to tell you that the elusive item is finally in my possession. What's more, I believe I'm on the cusp of unraveling a great mystery tied to this box. For the moment, let's just say I have a theory, though I haven't been able to prove it yet. Initially, it was my intention to finish my research before daring to open its lid. But I must confess that my curiosity is simply overpowering. In the unlikely event that anything should happen to me, 
please finish the work I've started here. Your friend, Andrew Schrader. According to the postmark, this letter was sent two days ago. We should go pay the doctor a visit. I just can't shake the feeling that something awful has happened. Well, your intuition's usually spot on. I say we head out right away. Alrighty. Cap a mystery for more details. The Elysian Box is an antique said to bring death upon any who dare open its lid. According to rumors, the box has already claimed many lives and is feared in many parts of the world. But this strange item truly exists. Luke, before we go, would you be so kind as to fetch my car keys? Or in one of the drawers in that desk. Sure thing, Professor. If there's something you wish to inspect, Luke, simply give it a tap. Luke must find the keys to the professor's car. Search by tapping on the desk drawers. Okay. I want to wanna search some of the other stuff, too. Oh, you know what? I, oh, okay, fine. I'll just, I'll just search it right away. Oh, here we are, Professor. You got Layton's keys. You can find the items you pick up in the Professor's trunk. Many thanks, Luke. Now, let's get moving. You do know how to move about, don't you, Luke? I do. You bet I do. Let's see. Okay. okay. I know how to move. I remember that. <laughs> You'd never accuse me of being low effort? I'm... I'm, I'm Come on. It would be a missed opportunity if there wasn't a hint coin in here. Totally and completely. Okay. Love to get your car keys, but first we must have a tutorial. <laughs> That's the way, my boy. One can't investigate properly without first doing a little legwork, as they say. Couldn't agree more, Professor. Now, shall we head off? Get, get this off. This. Give it to me. I know you're hiding here somewhere. Alright. Got those hint coins before the hint coin tutorial? Well played, sir. Well played. Luke, before we set out, it would be wise, uh, wise of us to confirm the location of the doctor's flat. During one of his visits some time ago, he was kind enough to leave me a map to his home. The map, as you can see, is a rather unusual piece of cartography. Look here, Luke. I really need to stop doing that. Oh, clever. The map itself is a puzzle. Professor, do you mind if I take a crack at it? I just know I can solve this one. All right. This is a perfect opportunity to show off the new timer in half as many minutes as before. <laughs> In the map to Dr. Schrader's home, several pieces in the center have been cut out. Restore the map by inserting the missing pieces in the correct spots. Touch a piece with, the with your stylus to grab it, then slide your stylus to move to the selected piece across the screen. You can't rotate. The okay. Uh, this, uh, this doesn't seem too crazy here. This. Okay. Yeah, I got it. This one looks like it goes right here. Uh... This one, no. Oh, it has to be this one. And, uh, let's see, most likely this one. And this one. No, not that one. Or maybe, maybe they're supposed to be just like semi off? No? That's not it at all. All right. And here I thought I was smart.
Okay, well, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes we struggle at things. Sometimes we struggle at things. Looks pretty good. Hmm. Let's see if this works. That was too easy. Excellent work. Now hop to it. Got to get doc to Dr. Schrader's apartment. Uh, I suppose I won't bring up the website until we get there. Uh, Pickerats are points that indicate a puzzle's difficulty. The more Pickerats a puzzle is worth, the tougher it is. When you submit an incorrect answer for the puzzle, the number of Pickerats you earn from that puzzle decreases. So think about it carefully before. I once you've beaten the game and saved, go to the bonuses section and load your game file. From there, you can enter the top secret area where a number of fun extras are waiting for you. The more Pickerats you earned, the more extras you unlock. Excellent. With our destination confirmed, we are ready to pay the doctor a visit. Come on. Or come now. Oh, let's just drop all the frames. You always give you always give your friends maps to your home. <laughs> You're so glad I didn't get the first one wrong. Look man, they, they could have been off center on purpose because of pixels. Uh I do believe we found the doctor's building. Which uh but which flat is his? That I'm afraid I don't know. But thinking on it now, the letter I received did mention something about this place. Okay, puzzle number two. Alright, find Dr. Schrader's window from the details in his letter. In the morning, I often awaken to the sound of music drifting in, in from a nearby flat. Looking out, I spy a flag fluttering gently outside my window take a single sip of my tea, and turn my attention to the morning sun. Not many flats in London have a view of the sunrise anymore. Circle the window from which the doctor views the sunrise. Okay, so... Got it. Uh, music. Okay. Um, by a flag fluttering gently outside your window. Okay. Takes a sip of his tea. I don't know if these are like flowers. It kind of looks like, like if this person up here decided that they were going to throw their garbage over and it just kind of got stuck on the flag and just kind of got stuck on the window seal. Uh, that's kind of what looks like is happening there. Uh, and then turn his attention to the morning sun. Okay, so I get I can't really tell if this is the morning. I'm gonna assume this is the morning. I guess. In the morning, I often awaken to the sound of music drifting in from a nearby flat. Okay. Looking out, I spy a flag fluttering gently outside my window, take a single sip of my tea, and turn my attention to the morning sun. So, I guess th this one seems like the most obvious one, but theoretically that wouldn't be the one because like this part would would be blocking it perhaps not many flats in london's have a view of the sunrise anymore I can't tell if this is a shadow or if this is just the bricks. <laughs> um, the ones in the bottom have no sun on them. Yeah, that that's kind of what I was thinking. 
The, the issue is I don't know if this is morning, so I have to assume this is morning, which means that it has to be one of these. Um, spy a flag fluttering gently outside my window. So... I feel like this one is a good choice. I don't know what that is. It looks like flowers or something. It's kind of weird that there's sun here, though. Well, kind of sun. I mean, there's, there's light up here. Yeah, you think that's an alley? Oh. Oh. I thought that was like a piece that was jutting out from the building right there. Al okay. Well, I mean, it could it could be this one and it could be this one. Oh wait, no, that's not a flag. All right, I guess it has to be this one. Um, give it a shot. Consider this puzzle solved. Got it. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. With time to spare. Ah, uh, now that you know where it is, head for the doctor's home. Yeah, I, I kind of got uh, mixed up with this one right here. Yeah, there we go. I kind of got mixed up with this one right here because I thought it was a flag, but it's not a flag. It's a t-shirt. Unless I'm mistaken, I think we found the right flat. Now follow me, Luke. We're going up. Oh, I nearly forgot. Before we leave, let's review how to use this trunk. Uh, to open the trunk, just tap on the... Alright, I, I I know what all this is. Delicious, delicious puzzles. We can go back and we can play them again. Got a journey, or a journal, to display our journey. Just give the trunk a tap. Alright. Hello though, mister. Never seen you around here before. Want to hear something useful? Check it out. See that mailbox right over there? Try tapping on it, will ya? Alright, there's my, my hint coin. Brilliant! That's a hint coin you found there. Ever work a puzzle and get stuck? It's times like that when I bet you'll fancy a hint, yeah? Well then, uh, well, when that happens, you can trade in those shiny hint coins for hints. They're scattered all over the place, which means you should always be on the lookout for them. Tap on anything suspicious, okay? Good. Well, that's all I had to say, so take it easy. Mister. Uh, I look, ev everything is suspicious, okay? Look at that, see? See? Everything is suspicious. That was your answer? Even if it were a flag, uh, you don't you don't think you would see it since it's below the window? But fair. Very, very fair. Right, there's there's gotta be at least one hit coin in here. I'll limit down. Alright. I have been let down. T-shirts are nature's flags. <laughs> this is Dr. Schrader's flat, I'm sure of it. Andrew, are you home? It's Herschel, Herschel Layton. Sir, are you there? Doctor? I don't hear anyone there, Professor. What if he's... No time for speculation now, Luke. We must get in this door... We must get this door open immediately. Seems to be locked from the inside. Doors usually are. But without a key, there's no way to get in. Ah, of course. In my haste, 
I forgot about these keys the doctor included in his letter. How convenient. Oh, here comes the puzzle. Quick, Professor. Let me try them on the door. Huh? That's strange. It doesn't seem like any of these keys work on the lock. Luke, don't you see? Dr. Schrader has set before us yet another puzzle to solve. Ew, it's... it's a tough one. Didn't it? It said like 20... Um, which key opens the door? As you might expect, the key won't open the door if it's the... Sh uh, if its shape won't let it pass through the keyhole. Use your stylus to fit keys into the lock. Examine each key carefully and use your stylus to move the keys and find the one that fits into the lock. Oh my gosh, the heck? All right, I I think my suspicions here were were correct here. I don't know where this one would go. Well, you can't, you can't really do that, I guess. But I guess I'm gonna go with this one. Here goes. Trying to be too clever. <laughs> Was trying to be a little clever on that one. <laughs> oh man. That's right. Did it take you a while to figure out that the portion of the key resembling the grip was actually the part that fit into the keyhole? Answers can often be found in the most unlikely of places. Box did this to Dr. Schrader when he tried to open it? I honestly don't know, Luke. But that can wait. Right now, we need to notify the police. Of course, Professor. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Yeah, those Professor Layton eyes, man. Like, oh, like the depths of the void right there. Like, no Protoss would ever go in there. That's... that's how deep they were. A train ticket for the Molentary Express. Now, this is strange. Look, there's no destination written on this ticket. Have you ever seen a train ticket that didn't say where it was taking you? Yes. Very strange indeed. No, I, I, I meant... Oh, no, I said Protoss. Like, uh, like Zealots. Uh, High Templar and Dark Templar. Uh, a single ticket with no visible destination was discovered in Dr. Schrader's home. It appears to be for the... Voluntary Express, but where exactly is it supposed to take its owner? Hmm. Oh, this guy's still following us around, man. Excuse me. Hey. Huh. Huh? 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 Hey, it's you! Well, Inspector Chelmy's the name. You two found the body, did you? Well, the no, Luke. Let him go. Get off, get off. Luke, stop that. 
That's his face. Listen here, who? Oh my gosh, his face doesn't come off. He's the real deal. <laughs> what in the blazes? That's my face, not some piece of taffy. I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't mean it. I was sure we had another imposter on our hands. What in the world is this child talking about? I swear, young ones these days have no manners. My apologies for the confusion. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Herschel Layton. I'm a professor of archaeology at Gresson Heller University. And I'm his apprentice, Luke. Interesting. So if I understand correctly, you keep a child around as an apprentice, do you? Not at all, sir. In truth, he's... Professor Layton's apprentice, like I said. Hmm. Well, it's really none of my concern. I have a crime scene that needs my attention. Clear a path, will you? But of course. Luke, not a word about that ticket to the authorities, all right? You know, let's just withhold evidence from the police. I'm sure that'll go over well. You got it, Professor. Hmm, yes. Let's see. What do we have here? A murder? Or was the crime self-inflicted? I like how we aren't the suspects here. You know? We're in here with a uh, dead body. And uh, we're just going to get away with it. Inspector, I should tell you that the door was locked before Luke and I came in. I see. So this door, the sole entry point in and out of this eighth floor flat, was shut tight. Then the doctor was holed up in here, completely apart from the outside world, yes? That being the case... Hmm, yes, I'm sure of it. The old gent must have suffered a heart attack. What? How did you come to that conclusion, sir? Use your noodle, laddie. What other explanation could there be? It's true that the flat is on the eighth floor and that the door was locked, Inspector. Still, I'd hesitate to say that this room was completely closed off from the outside. Is that so? Please elaborate. Isn't it obvious? There's something quite unusual about our crime scene that's been overlooked. There's a big fat window? Eh? It's as plain as the nose on your face, Inspector. <laughs> I suppose you academics think your fancy degrees prepare you to play detective, eh? I tell you, nowadays, it seems like everybody and their mum thinks they can do my job. Now, as I was saying, the cause of death was heart failure, plain and simple. And there's what caused it. This, it's a scaled down model of a Kronosaurus, if I'm not mistaken. I reckon that ugly mug will give anyone nightmares. Here's what probably happened. The old fellow turned on a light, took one look at the beast, and then keeled right over. But this is the doctor's own home. Why would the bones he put up himself scare him? This is exactly how the investigation into Tupac's death went. It's like, oh, that guy got shot? Oh, he died? Oh. Must have been a heart attack. Some, some, some metal just fell from the sky and he was like, ah, oh, I'm dead. People have a way of becoming forgetful with age. Not that you'd understand, boy. Well, you're right about that. I don't think I understand it at all. Mr. Letton, was it? No? Ah, yes, Layton. Mr. Layton, what do you think? The scenario you paint certainly isn't out of the realm of possibility. But, considering the lights were off when we entered the room, I don't think we've found our answer yet. Oh, uh, really? Furthermore, look around you, Inspector. Doesn't anything strike you as odd? This would be the worst, or not the worst, this would be the best time to be like, hmm, what clues can we find? And then there's a puzzle that uh, pops up, and it's like, blah, blah, blah. 
uh, figure out this puzzle to figure out what clue we have next. What do you mean, Professor? Come on, make it happen. Study your surroundings, Luke. I'm sure you can see it, too. I'll be the suspect until I can solve a puzzle. That's probably gonna be it. Oh! Hey! Hey! I was just talking about this. With its windows opening out into thin air eight stories up and its door securely bolted, you might think that this room is inaccessible from the outside. However, a single unusual detail reveals the truth of what went on here. Your job is to look around the room by tapping the arrows and find this detail. Once you've got it, circle the area with your stylus and choose submit to give your answer. Be sure to circle only one object when you answer. Unusual detail reveals the truth. This is ripped right here. Whereas these ones are not. Um, I would say everything seems to be fairly orderly. Except when you kind of get over here, but I mean like overall it still kind of seems fairly or orderly. I think I'm going to go with the curtain. I, I kind of want to go with this box too, but I think I'm going to go with the curtain. I have a feeling I'm just going to get destroyed on this. I'm going to go with the curtain. Here goes. Yeah. Piece of cake. I'm a boss at this game. Like the first four puzzles, I got this. For some reason, Part of the curtain shown here has been ripped clear off. I think I spent more time trying to circle circle the curtain than than actually uh, doing the puzzle. Hmm. So it is. But what exactly does this have to do with my crime scene? See, that was exactly the kind of puzzle I'm hoping they keep up throughout the entire story. That that's what I want from the late game. Someone exited the building through this window, and I'll bet he's our culprit. I'd say that's a sound theory. Well done, my boy. Oh, uh, yes. Sound as a pound. I was just about to propose the same idea myself. This is the worst detective I've ever heard of, including NCIS. Oof. Liar! Shh, Luke, listen. I don't believe our friend the inspector will be of much help to us. What say you and I conduct a little investigation of our own? Professor, look! There's something in Dr. Schrader's hand! It's an old photograph, but it's been torn into so many pieces, I can't make out the original image. photo. Yeah, turn that off. Uh, torn fragments of a fo uh, photograph were found in the late doctor's hand. In its current state, it's impossible to make out the contents of the photo. What could it be depicting? Hey, what's the big idea? You can't just point evidence in a crime scene. Get your hands off that, uh, 
that? What is this, anyway? Hmm, not that it matters. I'll be holding on to that. Now, out with the bulk of you. Ah, but we're not done. 